the last game, I feel like we talked about a couple of the, the lines that you guys shuffled around. What did you think of Kevin and how he kind of impacted Kopi and Q? Well, you know, Kevin's a dangerous player. That's, that's Kevin's greatest strength when he has a puck on a stick. Uh, you have to be aware of him. Um, we just got to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we're playing in the ozone. I think that's what Kevin did a good job. He's dangerous off the rush, but the ozone part of it for Kevin, he's hard to get out of the corners. And that's his greatest strength. So that's where he can help those guys. Second DP unit seemed pretty effective last game. What did you like about the way that they moved the puck when they were on the ice? Well, they don't get a lot of time. I think there's desperation. It's usually the second group. When they get out there, they usually get 40, 30 seconds. And so they're, they know they don't have a lot of time to waste. So if you go back to the Edmonton game, they scored a big goal in that game too. So what we're seeing there is some desperation. And they're not overpassing. They're getting the puck to the net. And you saw it with Q just standing in front of that and banging it in. So now you're kind of looking to Clarky to show off what he can do is those power play situations that's his bread and butter yeah i mean he's good spenny's done a really good job there too so i don't i don't think it's necessarily um you know just clarky's baby he's got to play good all over the ice but you know he has an elite talent and you saw it on the shot he didn't look at the puck head was up put it in the right spot yeah. talk about spenny and clarky what's it like kind of having those two young guys they're both in a similar spot they're both trying to work their way onto the team here yeah well it's competitive you know and, and they know that i think when you push each other, you're always better. And that doesn't matter for defensemen, goaltenders, forwards. You know that somebody's trying to push you, you gotta be at your best. And so I think that's what we see out of the two of them right now. Possession five on five times seemed to be really good. Um, didn't translate into any offense. Anything you thought was maybe missing between the possession and actually putting it in the net? You know, I, you wanna have the puck, you wanna be in the ozone. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit random as you're putting pucks towards the net. You know, if there's one thing that we probably could have done better, it's got to the net front with our first guy, and Boston, it's transitioning to them. They do a really good job of not allowing you to the net front. So that'll be, that'll be a tougher battle for us tonight, and that'll be probably one of the keys for us. Last six, seven games, a little bit of a trend, taking more penalties than you'd probably like to take anything? Is it kind of particular? Six, no, it's, it's a good point, something we've talked about. Um, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing that's a theme there. It's just too many, and uh, we like our game five on five. And even though we like our power play too, penalty kill's been strong, but we're a five-on-five -five team. I think our depth uh, overall is our strength, so we want to play people even up.